All right, we have Jim and Melissa Brady here. How are you all doing? We're doing Good. great. We're doing great. We always love to say hey to the homecoming folks. Oh. Uh, and you were asking about a Christmas memory that I have. I think mm -hmm. I've shared this with some of the in written form of the homecoming magazine, but I, I love this story. Uh, I grew up in Texas, just south of Houston. And I remember my favorite Christmas memory was mom and dad would always uh, put stockings out and, and decorate. It was a wonderful time at Christmas, but we would always get up. Dad would read the Christmas story and uh, then we'd have a big dinner and we'd open all of our gifts as a family. And it was always a, a wonderful time together, have Christmas carols playing. Usually the carpenters were playing on the, mm. on the stereo, which I still love that project today. We'd have hot chocolate and open our gifts and one particular Christmas, uh, Dad said after we got done with the gifts, he's like, I'm going to call some families around that we know and I'm going to just wish them a, a Merry Christmas. And uh, one of my good friend's uh, family, he called him and was wishing him a Merry Christmas. And, it, and during the conversation, he realized they really weren't celebrating Christmas. And he kind of kept prodding and pulling it out of them. And, Why aren't you celebrating? You know, their family had young boys and uh, friends of mine. And, and they said, well, finally got out of them. They had given their Christmas money to a missionary who came to their church a few weeks oh, earlier wow. to buy a vehicle that he needed to go to the mission field. Mm -hmm. So the money they had saved for Christmas, they had given away. Wow. So they weren't celebrating Christmas. And when dad found out, he said, you gotta come over, we have plenty of food left. Aww. Let's have dinner together. He said, "He said we've already uh, you know, had our Christmas, but we've got plenty left, come on over yeah. and we'll celebrate together tonight. So they live just a few minutes away. They all said, we'll come over and have dinner. So they, on their way over, we got to thinking, we thought, we can't go out and shop and buy gifts, but we just opened up our gifts that we had been given. Mm -hmm. So let's say, let's wrap them back up and give them to this family. Oh. So our family all got together, my sisters and have five sisters, two brothers. We all got together, had a big party and we took the gifts we had just opened. And I remember that year was, was uh, matchbox cars that I had been <laughs> given and I wanted them so bad. I was, uh -huh. like, I was excited because it was in a, uh, it was a big Hot Wheels tire, a big uh -huh. pack. That, <laughs> oh, you remember yeah. seeing those? It was yeah. a big black wheel that was a plastic container you could open up in it and right, put your matchbox in cars in there and I'd received that and I was so excited about it but I learned that year what Christmas is really about yeah. so I wrapped that back up gave it to my buddy hopefully made their Christmas wonderful oh. and they are you know what's neat about this is is uh, they're still friends today wow. we still yeah. love these folks in fact we were in Texas uh, on a concert not mm. long ago and my buddy came out he still making lives me south teary of, he still <laughs> lives I south, cry every time yeah. he still lives south of Houston yeah. and we're still close friends today but you know that's that cool. that is it's it's really in what you give away yeah and that's what really uh, as a young child I probably was 10 or 11 years old yeah. at that time but that really shaped my thinking about Christmas yeah. and that's yeah. my favorite Christmas Christmas memory because it, it really is uh, it's not about what you get right it's about what you give away it's about making it special for somebody else and mm -hmm. so yeah. That's really what Christmas is all about, and I learned the meaning of Christmas that year. And every year, I think about that. Right. I mean, it, without fail, I go back to that Christmas memory mm -hmm. and remember that. And then I try, even now, to find somebody who needs something mm -hmm. and try to bless their life. Because yeah. if you look around, there's people all around that need. Yeah. That need. Yeah. And so I try to find somebody that we can just bless, that we, we don't, they don't have to know who it is. Just mm -hmm. give them something yeah. and make their Christmas special. Right. Yeah. And so we still try to do that. And Melissa has a neat little and tradition. And every year we now, we try to... Uh, we'll go to a restaurant and um, look for the waitress, mm -hmm. the one that we're supposed to give a really good tip to. And so we've probably done this how many years in a row now? Five or six? I'd I don't say know. At least. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so throughout the holiday season, every time, even yesterday, we were at a restaurant and I thought, hmm, is she the girl? I don't know. <laughs> and I, would, I pray about it and look for the right person. And it seems like every year God sends the exact waitress we're supposed to bless. Wow. I gotta say, I love that moment because we'll be sitting there in, in a restaurant. And we're always looking to say, well, I wonder who, and, and it, it, a look comes over her face and she'll go, that's the one. This is it. <laughs> this is the it. One. And the stories that have come from that, we, we oh. don't, we, we try to leave it and get out of the yeah. restaurant without them having to say anything. Mm -hmm. But amazingly, I remember one year, one year she left a, a large tip that would, would, that would have seemed to be a mistake mm -hmm. at a small restaurant. Uh, and it was an elderly lady that reminded her of her grandmother. Oh, wait, wait, and, wait. Uh, How I knew was we were at a Cracker Barrel. Mm -hmm. And I had said to him, I think she's the one. Mm -hmm. Then I saw her, you know how they put their name on the, mm -hmm. the little um, aprons that they mm -hmm. wear? Yeah. Her name was Helen. 
which was my grandmother's name. Oh, in oh. So she so, said, this is the one. And, she, and yeah. the neat thing, and you can continue the story, but we left the tip she and did. tried to get out before she would see us. Right. And so it was it was a large enough tip to where she thought it was a mistake. She had to find us and hug and us. She, she came, well, she came at first trying to, to say, I think you made a mistake. Yeah. And we're trying to get out saying, no, 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 there's no mistake. Oh. This is for you. And the stories that came from yeah. it. And another year... Um, it was on. We were on. Chris, it was Christmas Eve, and mm -hmm. we were at a steakhouse in Ohio visiting my family, and so we go to the steakhouse on Christmas Eve, and there was a young waitress, mm -hmm. and um, so I said, "She's the one. This is it." So we give her this really great tip, and then she goes and she takes care of the the check, and she sees this tip, and mm -hmm. she comes back crying, opens up her little pad that she takes the orders in mm -hmm. with the pictures of her two kids, mm -hmm. and she's a single mom, and she goes, oh. I'm going to buy their Christmas presents as soon as I get off of work tonight. Oh. And she hadn't had much money for Christmas. Oh. And so <laughs> that's why it's so special. And I think it all goes back to it's more blessed to give than to receive mm -hmm. because I know we're blessing these people. Yeah. But my heart fills. It's my well, yeah. favorite part of Christmas is yeah. to just love on someone else. So yeah. I'm telling the you, tip it, is it, the it thing. becomes it becomes a little. You, you don't want to be selfish in that moment either. But it becomes yeah. it becomes so rewarding yes. to, be able right. to give to somebody absolutely with nothing in return. Yeah. And and just you know and we we like I said we try to do it and get out where they can't right. find us. But it, it's the stories have been amazing. I mean yeah. the one, the one yep. older lady that caught us and said you, you made a mistake and we said no there's no mistake. This is for you. We just yeah. felt like we should do this and she's like. I'm working for my grandkids. I'm buying them yeah. Christmas or my kids. Yeah. And yeah. So it, it's just, it's about what you give away. And I yeah. love, yeah. I love that. And I love that part of Christmas. And I think every, all of us should look at those moments. Christmas can be a depressing time of year for some people yeah. and lonely because they're not with family and they don't mm -hmm. have the things they, they want. But I think if we look at it in this light, it can be the most rewarding, the most exciting time of the year. Yeah. Yeah. And it's I guess it's our favorite time of the year that, yeah. that ever. And uh, we were at a, at a Kroger the other day and uh, oh, getting ready for Thanksgiving going into the Christmas holidays. Mm -hmm. We had family coming in and we were in line behind a, a lady that, that was in the, in the military. And uh, she, 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 had her, she had her cart and then we had our cart and Melissa, and I love that about her. She's real sensitive to, to feeling that. Mm -hmm. And uh, Here's what's funny though. We're in the line and I see this lady and I see her Navy uniform. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey, wait, I think we should pay for her groceries. <laughs> and he goes, really? You think we should pay for her groceries? And so he waits. Uh -huh. And then as soon as the lady gets ready to go pay, when they add everything up, he goes, uh, I, ma'am, we'd really love to pay for your groceries. And mm -hmm. just thank you for what you do. Right. And just the shock on her face sure. and on the cashier's face and on the grocery bagger's face. Yeah. It was amazing. So it's, it's a neat thing. So yeah. I encourage all the people that are, yeah. that are listening, do something for somebody. You may not be able yes. to do that. Yeah. Uh, but whatever you can do, do it, mm -hmm. and I love Zig Ziglar. It was a, a, a hero of ours who just passed away recently, mm -hmm. and I love what he said one time, and I've always remembered this, especially this time of year, uh, that you know if you want to find happiness, help other people mm -hmm. find their happiness, and and yeah. uh, that's paraphrasing. He said it in a little different way, but you know if you want to be happy, mm -hmm. give to someone else and watch their happiness and yeah. see that come back mm -hmm. to you. And that's I think true. that's when we make so. this time of year, this season, not about ourselves, mm -hmm. but yeah. about somebody else. Telling you, it's very rewarding. So I've heard story after story like that, where someone maybe was growing a little bitter because they'd lost a lot, or just feeling so, really down on them, you know, about mm -hmm. themselves because things had happened, and then mm -hmm. they started pouring into other people's lives, and it just filled them up. Absolutely. <laughs> I, mean, we, I heard yeah, um, I heard, heard uh, Melissa's dad is a great preacher, and I heard him tell a story one time about somebody that came into a church. He was working in a church at that time, and somebody had come in, and they were just depressed, had, and they felt like life had handed them. You know, a terrible thing that they yeah. could not cope yeah. with, mm -hmm. and the pastor wisely said to them, "You know what? Uh, you're bored. You're depressed. You, you feel like you have nothing to live for. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just make a list of the people in your town that you can bless?" And she and, baked and cakes. Bake cakes and take oh. and she bake dinner cakes for people. And just and so she, this this lady, I believe, you know, started doing this. Mm -hmm. And a few weeks later, the pastor went up to her and said, "Well, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah. Well, what's going on?" And she's like, well, "I'm just." And before she knew it, she was telling how, how well she felt and how yeah, wonderful yeah. it was. And he said, yeah. what about, oh, I'm not worried about that. Yeah. I'm feeling good. This lady I helped, you know, she's like telling about a lady who yeah. she made friends with. So she got out and made friends with these people and not only made a difference in their lives, 
that changed it made her. a difference in her life. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's the that's the whole that's the whole cycle. Yeah. Is uh, you know you give it away and it comes back to you. Right. And, well, uh, God knows what He's doing teaching yes, he us. Does. That Absolutely. Kind of thing. So that's Absolutely. that's the so, that's the greater uh, truth about about giving away and and, right. uh, and we love this yeah. time of year. We, we love everything about Christmas. Mm -hmm. you know, we love the music. We love uh, the celebrating the birth of the Savior. Yeah. Yeah. Family, being able to be with family. Mm -hmm. Time off from the road. Right. It's just it's just fantastic. So Merry Christmas to all yes. the homecoming uh, <laughs> readers out there. And, we love uh, you. <laughs> we love you. And we're, we're on the Gaither Christmas tour this year too. And we're doing a Jubilee Christmas tour. So I hope to see you out on the road somewhere. Yeah. And uh, in the meantime, have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.